you know, uh, something just reminded me. I, I believe it, it was in the Tampa Tampa area. Uh, the, you know, within the last few months. And that's what I what I say. Like <clears throat> the Tampa area. <clears throat> in fact, that's where I think the pastor of Mount Zion in Sioux City, when he left the church, and I was there on his last day there. I just happened to show up, like, out of the blue. Hadn't been there for I don't know how long. I just said, let me go to church today. Go to church. It's his last day preaching. He'd been there for I don't know how many years. As long as I can remember. But it was his last day preaching. But I think he moved to the Tampa area. Tampa area is very Masonic and... Uh, all that. A lot of Greeks, a lot of Italians, a lot of Masons. The Shriner headquarters is there. Um, but one thing about Tampa. Oh, man. The, the women, the young women there, they are so friendly and gorgeous. Like, they are, from what I heard, it's like the swingers capital of the country. Like, they are just loose with it. And I ain't hating on them. You know what I mean? But, like, hey. Um, I'm not, like, entertaining that. But if I was, at least it's there. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. I mean, <clears throat> they're just nice. They're friendly. Like, gorgeous women. <clears throat> I've, I've had no trouble having them. And not just that. I mean, well, you know. I mean, there it's never a problem to conduct myself in a certain way and have these young, gorgeous women, like, mag magnetized towards me. Like, it's crazy. Like, but I, but I can, I can do that other places too. But it's just so easy there. Like, it's it's weird. But um, but it reminded me. Uh, Newbury was just talking about giving a woman a rose is like some kind of ritual. So the last time I gave a woman a rose was in Tampa, the Tampa area. I don't remember. Was it Tampa? I'm pretty sure it was the Tampa area. Could have been Orlando, but I think it was the Tampa area. Anyway, this girl. You know, I've been holding on to this rose all day. I was busy. Boom, boom, boom. Run, run, run. Get money, get money, get money, get money. And, uh. I'm like, damn, dude, it's like 10, 11 o'clock or whatever at night. It's getting late. And I happen to need to be down by this bar section, you know, like where all the, I don't know, free-spirited people, you know, those kind of areas where it's a bunch of bars and, you know, one-story buildings and people walk in the street like that from bar to bar, that kind of area, real rit not real ritzy, but you know what I mean, where... Everybody's kind of just, just there. Anyway, this girl, I'm sitting in my vehicle on the side street. It's dark on the side street. And she comes around the corner from the light and stands in the dark right around the corner of the building. Starts smoking. I'm like, dude, I'm going to go give her this rose. Fuck it. So I got out and I said, here, I'm in there. And I forgot what I said. Like, I'm said I'd give this to a beautiful woman today well here you go and she said oh thank you and I put left, put my number in the rose earlier on a piece of paper or whatever and I said oh and my number's in there in case you need it and then like a half hour later she uh, texts me hi so what made you give me the rose and I did not honestly dude I, I did not want to go take a shower at the gym I did not want to deal with this. It's 10, 11 o'clock at night. I've dealt with enough bullshit from women. They like to fucking make plans and then fucking back out on you. No, no, you've done enough. You know what I mean? It's like, this is what, this is the result of that. So now this girl, you know, she's, I mean, it's obvious as all get out. I mean, she's trying to get banged on, you know, she wants me to tear that up you know like like straight up i mean you know that's the business right there it's like right there 
And she wasn't gorgeous, but she was good looking. You know what I mean? Like, right up there with, you know, probably in the top 10 beautiful, most beautiful women I've ever been with. You know what I mean? But, um, and, uh, like, you know, I'm just like, instead of playing my cards to go that direction, I'm like, yeah, you know, dude, <laughs> I just like sh cut the line, like, you know, and then she just stopped texting. I mean, I didn't say I'm not interested. I just, uh, I didn't, uh, she didn't get the kind of conversation she needed in order to lay down and separate her legs as far as she possibly could. You know what I'm saying? Without feeling like a whore. She didn't get that. And I didn't give it, you know? So, and I don't feel, and it's no big deal. Because, like, dude, like I said, I was tired. It's been a long day. I hadn't showered in I don't know how many days. I don't want to go to the gym and then fucking get all ready and have her say, I'm tired. I've been drinking. I'm going to sleep. Okay, bye. But, you know, just whatever. Fucking, this is what you women, you, you don't get it. You, you just don't get it. And, therefore, you don't get it. You get it? You don't get it. Because you don't get it. Right? Tired of your shit. For real. <laughs>